Welcome to another day at fmtraining.tv, where we're here to discuss the wonderful and fantastic FileMaker platform. My name is Margaret. I'm here with the wonderful Nick Hunter today, who is one of our senior engineers who often talks in the stream. Uh, I'm also here with Ken Art uh, due to today's topic. So let me pull up the schedule and discuss today's topic. So currently we're doing an existing FileMaker file design and modernization workshop. Basically, you send us a file. In this case, Ken is one who sent the file. Uh, and Nick will overlook it and basically give it a makeover. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, work on it and give it a makeover over and then explain its process and then return it at the end of the series. Uh, a quick, real quick thing about that. We're doing that day five, day six, and we'll do day seven, day eight, day nine next week. Uh, two things. One, since the file belongs to Ken, it is Ken's file. We aren't distributing it. Uh so just letting you know that ahead of time. Two, if you'd like this to happen to your own file, I highly recommend. Please send it in. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you want to see this series continue with a different file, please do that. Let us know. Uh, send it to support at rcconsulting.com. You'll get a free makeover, and you'll send the file back to you. So the one non-Nick day we have on our schedule currently is sessions with script tracking and FileMaker with Jake Sheely. Uh, so last time he was here, I think Jake talked about script tracking, which will be interesting. And now he's here to have a whole day on it. That'll be him and Christian Olsen, I believe. Da, 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 da. If you'd like to support the channel, we would greatly appreciate it. We have our FM Training Annual Subscription Bundles. Three options. Pick one that best suits you. Either way, it's 100 plus hours of really high energy video training. Uh, and pretty much covers everything you need to know in terms of basics for uh, becoming an intermediate developer in your own right. Or if you need to brush up on stuff, this is a really great series for that. Can't think of anything else that's like pertinent for me to be covering, so I think we're good. Nick, what are we doing today? Yes. How are you today, Marge? Thank you Pretty for the good. introduction. Thank you, Ken, for being there with us uh, all of those days. That would be good. So we have a lot of fun. And uh, so what we do today, uh, and thank you everyone for joining today. So it's uh, always a pleasure. So what we're go going to cover today, so we're going to continue the same series of uh, rebuilding a file. And, uh, you know, so pretty much I'm repeating myself, but, you know, so our, we, we pretty much show you live what will happen if you call RCC saying, okay, oh, I want some coaching. I want, I want what I'm seeing on TV, you know? Uh, you know, I want to. I want the same thing. I want the same thing. That means uh, we connect with you. We share screen. We're in a Zoom meeting, and we do that exactly what we, you 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 see, right? So could be with me. Could be with another engineer. We have a, a lot of people at RCC that has you know a lot of talent. So uh, don't you know if you need any help, you can do that. Uh, you can call us and say, okay, I want the same thing that I've I've seen on TV. Do do me the same, okay? So, um, so today we continue working on this. So I have some notes here. So I'm going to share the screen right quick. So what are we going to do today? We're going to continue to work step by step on rebuilding the file, right? So we 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 first start working on this stuff, you know, this uh, portal here, and then we work on the uh, let's see something here. Okay, uh, and then we work on the filters and the search, and we work on building those fields, how we place the fields, how we do the, the, the email stuff. So, and I wanted to show you uh, something that I have, a, you know, uh, I have a note here, you know, so show the differences be between conditional and hidden state on groups. Okay, so why sometime, right? It could be crazy to to do a, a you know a conditional versus hidden with another color. Let's say, okay, uh, I have those fields, right, and I want to conditionally turn them. Uh, so I have a a test file, a test, you know, I think I have a test field. Yeah, test field. So I'm going to put my test field in the layout, right? And uh, so I'm going to put the test field here. Right? Okay. And I want to conditionally 
uh, 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 format those fields. Okay. So, okay, I, I and I want to group them. I group the fields, right? And I say, okay, I want, right, to apply a conditional formatting on those fields. But they're grouped. So you might think I can apply, I can have one conditional formatting for all of them, okay? But no, it's not possible. The conditional on group is not possible. So you have to go within the group and say conditional formatting and say, for example, uh, tests equal one. Uh, uh, test field. Test, yeah. 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 And I want the text to become uh, uh, red, for example, right? Does this. So now I have uh, conditional is there, but I, I noticed that they have a product file maker uh, of the badge is not coming. It doesn't go away when you turn it off. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. They have without a product getting with... out of layout too, yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So now I have a conditional formatting on each field. Okay, so what it means? It means that FileMaker will perform the calculation, uh, evaluate the calculation on every single field. The, the, the calculation will be evaluated one, two, three, four, five, five times. I will evaluate that calculation five freaking times. Okay? So if you have a crazy calculation, like uh, go to, uh, you know, five level down in my relationship, or, uh, you know, take a summary field on two million records and give me the results on each, on five time, you land on the, on the, on the layout and you have the spinning wheel for five minutes, 10 minutes, right? And each time you click on the on next record, you have to go or, you know, do the groceries and start and come back, okay? So, and that and that's a problem. And that's a problem. Okay. So if I do, uh, where is my where is my test field? Uh, so if I do, if I do this, it turns red. It works uh, super 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 nice super nice. It turns red. Okay. But I have five time. So we have another way to do that. Okay, so we have two ways. Two. If the calc you want to do is not very complicated, okay. You that okay, that is if you have not a huge amount of records and if your calculation in the field is not crazy. Okay, if the in the in the conditional, it's if the calculation is the calculation is okay, let's say. Okay, otherwise, it's not it's not a good technique. But I want to show you. We have an on record load, right? Right, mm -hmm. and what this on record load do? What does on record load do? Right. It do this. It does that uh, set a variable, right? And you say whatever conditional one. And the conditional one is test field equal one. Right? Okay. And then I have this on commit. Right, so far so good. So I have on 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 record load, shoop, right, and on command on commits. I have the same calculation. Right. So now 
I'm going to point this, those five calcs, right? Those five conditional to this. So, if I do this, it turn red. If I do this, it turn black. Advantage, advantage, it does the calc once, not five times, because I'm referring five times to the same calc, this one. Only one time this will be evaluated. The conditional formatting will go straight to the conditional. And if you, let's say I put one here, right? And here I put zero, right? And here I put one, right? So here each time, yeah, I need here I need a refresh. But each time you load. I don't know why he's not doing it. Oh, I didn't put the the, the, the script. No, sorry. <laughs> I need to <laughs> I need to put the script though. No. Uh you know. I need to put uh what the name of the script is uh 150 something. Okay. So when you load the record, it will load the calc. Right? So, but it should, I need to do a refresh, but it's okay, you know. So you, you have to refresh the objects. So you need to name this object. This, for example, you name the object conditional one, for example, okay? So you, you know that object, right? When you load, when you load, not on commit, on commit is not necessary, but on load, okay, you need to refresh this object. Right. So each time you load, you but that's compared to do five times the calc, you know, see, it loads, it loads, it loads, it loads, it loads, it loads. And, and when you change this zero on commit, I don't need to, to refresh because the commit, it's a, it's a, that's a validation. The unload, you don't have the validation, so you don't have the refresh, but on, on, on load, you just load. You, you don't even open the record. You just load the record. So it's you load, open, right? Modify, validate, save, close, right? So you have, this is a pyramid, right? So, but, compar but if you have, let's say, because I saw that, if you have five times, 10 times, 15 times the same conditional, right? So it's, it, you are repeating 10 times, 15 times, 20 times the same calc. And that's why it's so slow. So that's the first way to do that. But it's not my favorite. You know, it's not. So let me show you my favorites. Okay. So let's disengage this. Okay. And let's disengage this. My favorite is not conditional at all. You know, it's not. This, no. It's not. Yeah, see, it doesn't, it doesn't yeah, refresh. They don't you know, go, they, they don't uh, go away uh, either, yeah. Yep. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, they have problem. Okay. So what you do, you duplicate this. It's a group. So, and you say, Hide when test fields equal one. So that means that will be the, the black one. And hide when that's different on one. Okay? So it's the opposite. Right? And this one, and this one, for each field, I want the the text to be red. Yeah, this red. And you put that here. 
There's only one calc. One calc. One. If you if you do that way, if you don't group and you select one, 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 one. Let me put that somewhere else. If you do this and you say on the five, this, you have five times the same calc. So you back on the problem you have with the conditional. But because we can group object and hide a group of objects, we have only one calculation for all the objects inside the group. Makes sense. So we have only one calc. So now I have the same thing at the speed of light. Plus, I have a lot of advantage. A lot, a lot. First advantage I have, okay, on the conditional, what on the conditional, on the conditional, what can you do? Okay. Uh, text color, field color, icon. That's it. But here, I can say, yeah, but I want, you know, I want the border, right? To be red, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, on all of them. Uh, you know, I want the border to be red on all of them. Uh, that you, uh, yeah. Uh, that you can you cannot do on on the conditional, right? Uh, and you say, oh yeah, but I don't want those balls. For example, you know, or anyway. So you can go and do much more things, right? Than the conditional. Right? You can do this. So you have only one calc for a group of objects. You have much more flexibility. Uh, and, uh, and, 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 uh, and the speed is like 10 times. OK? I am not using conditional more than something very simple. Like this. This, this is cool. You know? This is cool. Uh, the, uh, uh, hold on. What did I do? Uh, yeah. Uh, you can, you know, here, that's cool. Uh, value current equal to, this, this is cool. This is, this is okay. This is, no, this is okay. This is, this is good. Good technique. You know, the te this technique, this technique here is like swatting a mosquito with a, nu a nuclear bomb. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, but this technique here, that bad, uh, that a bad technique, right? So, do we have any questions so far? Uh, yes, we do. Conditional formatting evaluate with data from server, or is it at the client? The client, <laughs> that a problem. And with uh, okay, so if you are a very very advanced pharmacer developer, okay you can evaluate a conditional on server using my technique here. Instead of setting the variable that way, you perform a script on server and you return, you return the result and then you populate the, the variable with the result of the return. Correct? Right? So you can do that. You know, you go, evaluate, boom, come back. And you can evaluate all your conditional because you can select conditional one, two, three, four, five, six, right? You can have multiple conditional. You can name you can name them if you want. Oh, that's the conditional for this, that's the conditional for that. So you evaluate, you have a script on server with the, you know, in, so it goes, but the transaction with the server will take some time. So you might have a spinning wheel, right? So I don't know, um, you know, it's all matter, all matter is what you do and how much records, that's what matters. But this here, it's much faster because you, 
you don't have to uh you know to repeat the calc if you have the same right if you have the five times the same right uh if they're different all of them even the but even though the 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 hidden states is faster it's faster than the the conditional in in, in any way you know but it's up to you and, and now you know with the uh with the object tree we can do that you know you group them you name the groups you know you understand you, you name the groups yeah. and you can yeah. you can hide and show see hide show with the with the so if you organize yourself well with the you know with the with the, the object tree you you out of you out of trouble pretty much you know because i'm i'm pretty much living in the object tree i don't even you know I rename my stuff here, you know, or so for example, this one here, uh, it's the you know the 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 object here, this object, you know, you can it's conditional one, and you can say uh black, for example, okay. Uh you can name it, uh, and then you have the the uh, so that is one one block, and then you have this one here, then you and you can put them together. Can arrange them together if you want. So where is the other one? Uh, where is the other one? Or uh, in group? So you can, for example, here, right? Uh, you want you can you can search by name, you know, conditional. So you have two here, and you can say, okay, no, uh, this is uh, red, right? Okay. So now you can you can find them right in the object tree, right? So. No, it's cool. It's a good technique. So, other questions? Uh, yeah, follow up. Conditional formatting doesn't create client slash server traffic. Yeah, like conditional formatting is a unstalled calculation. That's it. <laughs> you know, having a unstalled calculation on the layouts, so showing an unstalled calc. A non stock calculation field in the layout or conditional formatting is the same, which is not the case of a hidden state. Huh. The hidden state is not, it's like uh, the hidden state is like an auto entry calculation. It is not at all like conditional, it is very different. You know, I wish we could we could have Clay coming here and explain that to us. You know, um, uh, you know, I, I don't have the qualification, the technical qualification, or on the other side of the fence to talk technically about what happened. But I can talk that the conditional formatting is out terrible. Okay, so so we don't use them like a like a you know drug addict like we were doing before. Right. So now we, you know, we, we have other ways to do that. Right. It's almost like we need a calculation debugger to be able to see the difference. Yeah, we have, uh, in, in a sense, you know, uh, but it's, uh, we have now, right. We have a, a function that do that. Right. Uh, we have a function, uh, time something. Oh yeah, the time uh, stuff. Yeah, to be able to see. Yeah, to get time. Uh, right, right. You know this one. We have it. You know, the microsecond and the millisecond to to you know we we can do that, right? We can me measure how many times it takes to you know to evaluate the calculation. But um, yeah, but to do that we need a good. You know. But anyway, uh, if you if you have a problem like this, okay, or uh, on something that you know. Uh, don't go crazy on on your stuff. You know, do another way. You know, think about another way. Uh, evaluate uh, a tag, for example. You know, let's say I don't know. I want something crazy to happen. I want something crazy, crazy totally, that hide an object. Right. This is the technique. Or even a or even a conditional. Okay, let's say I have a tag name crazy stuff. 
Okay. And I want to I, and I want to know uh uh you know uh, the crazy stuff. So it's a number, right? And the result of this will be a boolean, you know, a uh, result of the crazy stuff uh is boolean one or zero. Okay, so that's the result of the crazy stuff. On the result of the crazy stuff, I have a let statements. Yeah. I have a let statement with a trigger. Okay? Equal trigger. So I'm using a trigger field to evaluate my crazy stuff. Okay? So that means, so what will happen here? So what will happen here? I have a crazy stuff, a tag. That means if this and that and not this and not that, and if the window is closed and if the car is not parked, if my wife is late, whatever, okay? <laughs> Something crazy, okay? And, uh, and I want this field this group of field to be show or hide based on that crazy stuff okay so tag crazy stuff where's my uh where's my tag crazy yeah crazy stuff okay so that's my tag i want this tag right to to do the to do the job so What happened? I have a perform suite on server that go there, do the crazy stuff. But wait a second. That I want to be I want to be sure you understand what happened here. But I do my crazy stuff perform suite on server off. I don't need to wait. Don't wait. Do the crazy stuff. Okay? I don't give a damn of waiting. I don't wait. In the calculation of the crazy stuff, you will go to the record or the group of records, you know, the fun set, and you will trigger that trigger fields that will trigger all the auto-entry calculation. And then the result of your crazy stuff will be 0, 1, you know, 0, or 1. Oh, yeah, uh, I need to comment out this. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, self. Okay. Otherwise, you will blank it. Okay. So it will be 1. One or zero. But let's let's do something, right? Let's do something. I am on that on that record, right? Today he says zero, right? <clears throat> he said zero. But you have your calc on the server after he did all the the thing that says, okay, now this is one, okay? Uh, look what happened. Or oh, it says zero, right? It changes. So that means if you have a calc with no waiting, and it takes 10 minutes to do to evaluate your stuff, oh, in 10 minutes, you will have the, the, the conditional of coming. But it's not blocking you. You understand that? So, so you you can send the calc to the to the to the you know to the uh, to the server, but you have a tag zero one that will switch on and off based on the result of your calculation and the 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 hidden or hidden or slash conditional will be related to that tag, and then. 
even if it's uh, it's uh, it's the server at the other side of the planet, when you will evaluate, you see, I'm simulating this, doing this, I'm simulating, simulating the server. The server says, look this window, right? The server says, oh, it's it's one now. It's no longer zero, right? You know, so if it's one, it's one. Boom. I evaluated it. So the hidden, you understand? So the hidden state, you know, it's, and all the user will have the same hidden state coming, right? All the users. It come and uh, it will appear and disappear like a mag like mag magic based on the auto on the auto entry calculation of this tag that and you put your crazy stuff inside this and you have the trigger that say oh trigger evaluate all the auto entry calculation of that record and <clears throat> all the tags so that's why you know I have so many tags on my uh, tables. Because I don't want to rely on the real stuff. I want something that I can control, right? Uh, is the record locked while calculating in a multi-user environment? No. Oh, I mean, <clears throat> uh, for a fraction of a second, uh, the time of setting a field, which is a fraction of a millisecond, you know, set field, you know, that's it. Because you, we don't open the record. We set field, right? So it's not, it's impossible. It will happen maybe once in our every, you know, I don't know, 2 billion years. We will be on FileMaker 2 billion 51, you know, <laughs> Or when that will happen, so but don't you don't have to be worried about it. because we don't stay on the record. We don't stay. Right. Set field. Even if the set field takes long, right? If it takes ten minutes, it won't be it won't be open. So okay. So now we 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 learn about this. <clears throat> so let's continue, right? So we learn about the conditional, we learn about the high hidden state, or you learn about, you know, the, so maybe I can show you something else, the extension of this, because I know what you do. Oh, yeah, I don't want all my stuff grouped. I understand. I'm, I'm with you. I don't neither want all my, lay, all my layout filled with groups, you know, uh, that I need to click and click and lose and, ah, you know, I'm with you. So I have an answer if you want. So you create my best friend, the Slack control. So the Slack control, you know, is one of those objects that you can embed objects inside it's a it's a self-containing object. <clears throat> okay, what that means? It means that if you put an object inside the slide control, now this object it's part of the slide control. If I have multiple objects there, they are all now embedded inside the slide control. Right? Correct? Yes. OK. So now, delete this and look at this. I'm creating a slide control, and but the slide control has something very particular that we can create a slide control with only one panel. One panel. So. And we can hide the navigation dot because there's only one, you know. OK. So this is one panel. One. And here, that's why I have this design, by the way. Here I have a, a square, a rounded rectangle. This. So why we don't just copy the style of that rectangle, put the same style on this slide control, 
right? But we need to have this here too. So now this slide control and this rectangle look exactly the freaking same, right? So I resize the two. I move my objects inside this. I get rid of this idiotic rectangle and boom. Ah, what did I get now? Oh, I, did, I get a, a nice group of objects without grouping. I can modify them. I can modify them. They are inside this panel. I can move them in at once. So this now, it's a self-containing object. And I can say this. I select the panel, right? And I say, ah, crazy stuff, equal one. And look what happened. Bam, all my object with the, within the slide control disappeared and reappear like bloom. And they're not grouped. No group, correct? So a little inquiry. Do you like it on on Discord? I want to know. <clears throat> Folks, do you enjoy? People are typing. Just yeah. this was worth it. What was the day? Just this. Yes, we had four yeah. people immediately, five people, six immediately say yes. So Okay. That's why... Yeah, go ahead, want, uh, Nick. If we wanted to like go back to where we where we had the group that was red, would we just put that on a separate panel and switch yes. panels? Yeah. No, 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 uh, no. The slide panel. Oh, forget about it. <laughs> no. Okay, so we would no. still use the group thing if you wanted to change yeah. the yeah the you formatting that way. Yeah, you duplicate this. Duplicate the whole, okay, duplicate yeah. the whole slide. Okay. The whole slide. Not a panel, and, just the whole slide object. Yeah. Got it. Right. So they, and they, they're like, so then, then they're like this. No. One, yeah. two. Yeah. So they appear like groups. Right. Got it. So, and you can hide one and show one, you know. The Great difficulty tip. would be not to get them to, the difficulty would be not to get them to, you know, to embed itself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a difficulty, you know. But they don't do, they won't do if you don't move them, you know. But if they are exactly the same size, they don't, you know. They are exactly, now, those two objects are exactly at the same, at the same, at the same place, look. I I show, show, hide, uh, no, show, hide, you don't see yeah. them, you know, you don't see the, you know, so yeah, it's a, it's a very, very good technique, okay, I because, like you know, because it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, and, and now you understand why I have this design. It's because it's the design is is key on everything because I'm using the slide as a rectangle and I put stuff inside, right? Yeah. When I need to hide something, I'm doing this, right? I want to hide the whole thing, but you can do your own slide that doesn't completely translucent because I have it, right? Alternate is completely translucent, transparent. Yeah. So you don't see it, right? But it's, it's doing the job of containing objects. You know, I want to put those objects inside this. Boom. They're there. Right? So it's, 
and now they 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 grouped right in this but i don't have groups i hate groups so when you have complex stuff like sometime i'm building complex stuff yeah? when you have groups it start to be crazy because you when you want to access a, f a field that is behind is you know so you have to ungroup regroup degroup you know when you want to add a record because if you want to add a field in the group that is hidden with this technique oh i want to add this one okay no problem boom is it is now it's hidden right yeah so yeah yeah it's very cool so let's continue and uh uh let's move on to the next topic so we uh we have this you know build and now i want to move forward right so let's continue and uh, so now uh, let's move a little bit on let's start talking about the those or uh, what's the name uh statuses okay because now we need the statuses this now is uh, so explain us a little bit more on those uh ken so those are um so like certificate is the pilot certificate and if we were to click like on the update pilot button um a little bit to the right uh the gray update pilot like we can we can talk a little bit more about this because on the pilot page you'll see that there's two pictures and so we're looking to see if both pictures are there and making sure that the number on the picture matches the certificate number and is it valid, et cetera. So we take a look at each of those documents, the certificate, the flight review, the medical, the insurance, et cetera. We take a look at each of those and apply some level of criteria to it to see what is the status of that document. Then on this page, they're displayed as valid, current, not applicable, et cetera. So we're evaluating a document and then showing the status of that document here. Okay. So now we talk about things serious. Okay. We played with the conditional. We play with. So now we talk about something, but we'll talk about the trigger, this freaking trigger. Okay. That is, if you if you get that principle of the triggers the trigger field i'm talking about the field and the trigger field not the trigger scripts okay um the trigger field right when you when you master it it solves all your problem absolutely so now here's the situation so uh where is the the layout where i need to go here in the balloon layout, right? No, in the pilot's uh, verification. Yes, verifi yeah, verification is going to be that same update pilot one. This is where okay. all the the, yeah. the documents are going to be. Okay, I remember. Okay. And and we had some, and we made some stuff already here, I think. Uh, if I go to the creation order, uh, we might, you know, uh, oh, we're still in the, yeah, you know, we have, okay, never mind. So here, so, but we are in the same uh, in the same table. Pretty yes. Much. Okay. Well, actually, I think this one. Um, I think I start. I think I started putting these off in a different table because it was a a documents table versus the actual yes. pilot table. So, do you have the document? I want the document table. It's not the same you showed me last time. You show me some. Oh, it was a balloon, maybe. A well, balloon looks like this. Yeah, it like was a balloon modification. Okay. Yeah. So let's start. Okay, let, let's start. So do do we have the document table here? Um, I I think the pilot documents is the uh, the pilot documents would be the uh, pilot table. Okay. So and do I have a layout that goes to the pilot documents? I think the uh, pilot verification does. No, it goes to the. It go. I, I'm in the pilots still. This one. And I don't, oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because so right. this... I didn't use it. I, I, I don't really use a layout for that table. I do everything off the verification page. Yes. Okay. So here we have, 
So this is where you put the documents, correct? Yes. You go to that layout and you insert the documents. So where is the logic? Okay. So first the, the... of all, we are, first of all, we are going to re review something. Okay. Here, Ken was using is using a technique from the eighties, nineties, uh, which I used. You know, that's when I started to... with FileMaker. I know. <laughs> that's why. But we <laughs> talk. I, I need to talk about this. That means we were using this in the past, but now we don't need. So to to automatically automatically are uh, in the container, uh, which is this one, right? Or whatever. To automatically in the container fields, right? To add another image, right? Is inserting a, another image. Is inserting. Is generating. So you generate pretty much an image, right? Yeah. What it, what I was originally um, what this was a monkey bread thing, and I was originally starting to resize the images, and what I found was that they were getting too small. Um, so now the only thing that function really does is um, rename the document in that container. Okay. Okay. And that's all it needs to do is just rename it. Okay, but but you but you get this image, the default image, right? Or... Yeah, it basically puts the same image back in there. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't want that. Okay, we don't want that because. We want to know if the container is empty or not. So, because otherwise it's complicated. Okay? Right. Okay, so we want to keep that. So uh, we need to remove that from this calculation. The, the, you know, the, I think it's this, right? New image. Uh, we, could, we, could take the, we could take the whole thing out and just leave in the rename the, yeah. the, rename the image. Yeah, so wh wh where is the... Uh, new image if error certificate for the so it's the new name it's the new name that we yeah the new name that we need to have it do and i i think you probably even have a, a better way to do it than it was just part of that monkey bread function yeah no i don't have a function for that but it's uh uh yeah but i cannot modify because i don't have the monkey bread uh, stuff so let's deactivate that for now right sure. uh, yeah so now we don't need that more anymore. The you know the auto entry uh, with the default, you know, or with the blank image and stuff like this, you know, because it will break so many things that we need, you know, to right. know to know which one is empty and not. Okay. So instead, you know, here. So we have the placeholder, okay? So uh, what is this? That the review? Flight review, yeah. You know, this is a, a front. Uh, no, this flight. Is, yeah. Oh, flight review. Okay. Flight review. And uh, this is insurance. Uh, insurance. Uh, and uh, front, the uh, certificate front, certificate. Front picture, okay. Yeah, and this is a, it's a back. Okay, so, so now we have the placeholder coming automatically, right? Okay. Right. So, so we don't really need that image, you know, because I think this is this is enough for now, right? It's a. Uh, and you can say, uh, you know, and you, and here you can change. Uh, of course, you know you can change the uh, in the placeholder. So you go to the style uh, tab in the in the inspector, and you go here in this here in the states, the placeholder, and then you can change whatever, can make it bigger, right? So, you know. So oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that. So, yeah, so you can change that placeholder stuff, make it bigger, uh, change the style, right? 
uh, whatever, you know. Uh, I don't think I did that on all of them, but so it's uh, it's here. We well, get the concept, the yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh, it's okay. Yeah, and when you select the style, it show you how it will look. Okay. Okay. So, and the placeholder can be a calculation, and uh, you know, also okay. So we don't we don't need that. So now, what ha what I want to happen here is when I'm here, right? I want something in another table to happen. All right. Right. That's what I want. Okay. So here, uh, so that that is the the status we change with the certificate, right? So yes. When we if, have those, if if there is a document and I flip the a switch that says it's valid, then it would change the certificate um, to valid and green on the other side. Okay. So that's only so the certificate status is just something simpler. It's, 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 that, it's, it's that simple, okay? So that means, that means if you have certificates there, right? So do we have a relationship between the balloon, the, the pilot, and the uh, document table? Yes. Uh, Not labeled, right? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pilot right, yeah, there you are. Yeah. Pilot document crate. Oh yeah, uh, we worked on this. You remember? Yeah, yeah, we talked a little bit about it, and I was yeah, starting yeah. to go back and rename things. It's okay uh, based yeah, on yeah. that scheme, but yeah. So we have the pilot documents. Okay. So now, what I want to do, I want my certificate status. My certificate status. This is it. Uh, this is it, right? No. No, that's the, yeah. This one. Yes. Okay. What, so I have this. Okay. So is empty pilot documents, right? Picture back. Or is empty pilot document certificate front? Then it said missing, right? Right. Not is empty. Temp cert issue, temp expired. And okay. That's in case it was a temper, a paper certificate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here we can simplify that a lot. You know, first of all, I don't want this is a related calculation. Related calculation. That's slow, bad, slow, rubbish. Right. We don't want that. We don't we don't want. Okay. So what we do want, okay, it's that to happen in the document table. Right. And here we have we created it. And here we have this. We create a tag. I know my freaking tag. One zero, right? One zero. You know, it's uh the basic for a computer. The basic, ba lower than this, you cannot go. Zero, one, boom, okay? So what this auto entry calculation do? I get the, fr that's why I need to know if it's empty, if it's not empty, you know, how I can get this. I get this, right? The back, the front and the back. And I said, is front, is there? Uh, do I have something? I'm getting as Boolean the front. That say yes, that's something. No, that's nothing. I'm doing that on both, right? Right. And then I'm saying, is the sum of the front and back equal different than two? Okay, that means. This will return one. This will return one. And I want the two of them to be one in order to say, so I want pretty much the, the result of this plus the result of this to be two. 
Because they're both one, there. One plus one equal two. If it's, if it's not equal to, that means it's not there. It's not complete. It's not. It's not good. It's right. not. It's not good. I don't have both. Missing docs. I have it. I have it. I want the missing doc. That's all what I want. Okay. Right. Okay. So I have the calc in that table. It's a local calc, right? It's a local right. calc. So let's do the let's do a test, right? I'm here and I'm going to put on my layout the result of this tag. Right? Right. So why the tag is good is a good technique, you know. Because you say, yeah, but I, I don't like so you 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 guys I, I, I saw that you know uh, if is not empty equal yes if is empty equal why you want to do that no 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 keep the zero one you go to the you select this and you say it's a boolean and you said yes no right right or you can put whatever you want but yes no missing dog yes no. Okay, so now let's say I remove this one. Yes, missing a doc. No, missing no. If I remove this one and remove this one, missing doc, yes. I put this one, missing doc, yes. I put this one, missing no. Right? Correct. So when you do that, it is working. The calc happens in the local table. So now I want my freaking status to ref to, to but I, look look what I'm doing right now. I have a very, very simple yes, no, go boolean is empty. No, that, I don't need no. No, I don't even have is empty. I don't need. I don't need because it's a number, it's a boolean. Yes, no. I don't have is empty. I get as boolean the field. That means is there some the is empty is not necessary here. You get as boolean the container. Yes, no. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I don't even need the is empty. So th this calculation is fast as the 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 hell in the hell. Okay. So now I'm going there and I'm saying, okay, I want my certificate status. There's, there's one more level in there, and that is whether it's a valid certificate or not, though. Yeah, okay. One thing at a time. Okay. I'm saying here, look this. One is empty related record. Pa. Or, or which, which is... Uh, or in the case, burp, burp. <laughs> and I remove this, and what do I say? Tag missing doc. That's it. So I remove two calcs. Calcs, that means is empty the right. field right. over there, right? Twice. Yeah. Twice. Right? I remove by yes, no, one, zero. That's, this is not a calc. This is not a calc. It's referring to a calc that already happened at the moment that I put the document inside the table. He put, he put yes, he put no, he put one. The information has been computed, evaluated once. And now I refer to something that is sitting there. So this is no longer a calculation. Right. So imagine how fast it will be because each time you're going to, to, to load that record is, is going to happen this. Okay. So, so now we can have, 
So where this happened, the temp set issues. Okay. So this is a date you put in that table, right? Yes. So. Uh, st uh, so if and and that's the same. It's it's uh, basically the same. If it's empty, then it we're okay. If there's a date in there, then it needs to, it it just needs to uh, flag the fact that this is not a so not solution. is empty. Okay. okay so there no. If is if there's something there, right? Yes. If there's something in there, yeah. yeah. There's something in there. You want this? Yes. Okay. So now, now, if this equal one or zero, right? Yeah. So no Same need. Thing. No need. And here, not. So let's try this first. Okay. Right. So let's try this. So I have my cert. Uh, first of all, I need to, uh, which trigger we use because uh, you have. Uh... Too many. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, let's use mine. Okay. The one. So let's clean up a little bit this, the crazy stuff, the rating. So this is my trigger one, okay? And I want the uh, cert certificate, right? Yes. The cert status. Certificate cert status. status, yeah. Okay. So uh, what the, the what the the, the cert uh, temp or uh, the the date was the name of the date? Um. My I think it's on the um, I think it's on the on the uh, documents table. Oh, it's on document. I didn't see that. It's even worse. Okay. So the status. No, it's there. Temp set issued. Oh yeah. Okay. Temp set issue. Okay, and that's the date. Okay. Yes. So I can put my beloved calendar stuff. Okay. So now, so let's say, so I have the, it's, it's said valid, you know? So why is it valid uh, when, uh, why is it valid when we don't have a, a cert? A, a date should make should change it to temp the uh if there is a date it should change it to something else. Oh, it's when that's a, okay. Let, let's, when, let's, when there is a date, yeah, it, it yeah. Oh, yeah. Get oh when there's a date, it take time. Temp expires. Okay, but we don't know if okay if the date is okay. I understand. If there is a date, right? Okay, so I put a date here. Boom. Right. Correct. Yes. So, and you see, it works. It works. And if I go there and I delete this and I update this, missing docs. So now we say, ha ha, Nick, we got you. Ah, how, if I modify something here, your Super technique, super smart of Nick Hunter doesn't work. <laughs> and I will say, uh, uh if I, I want to stay polite, <laughs> right? I say, no, you didn't screw me. No, and I will show you why. Okay. If I have a relationship between that table, right, and the other, if I have a relationship going from here to here, I have also a relationship going from here to here, right? So, look this. 
in all my uh what's the name or uh, in all my layout pretty much you know the i mean the data entry layout i have triggers like on record load, on commit, on layout enter, on mod enter, I have, you know. But I don't have crazy stuff. I have a set of viable ID, set date, set, you know, set simple stuff. I don't do, oh, perform scripts, export 2 million records, import 2 million records. I don't do that, right? On record load, you know, I'm not, I'm, uh, we, I need to be clear with this, right? I need to be clear with this. So, and in each of the layouts, I have on record commits, documents, and on record load documents, always. You know. And uh, on layout enter, but that we, we will see that later, you know, when we will do more design stuff. And we can say this is 2050 and this is 2051, right? Okay. So this what the what the commit do? What the commit do? I am in the pilot document, right? Or uh, yeah, pilot document are here. I am in that table. Right. Right. So. What do I want to do to go to the pilot table and set this in the pilot table? So I'm here, right? I'm here in this, I'm here. Yes. And I'm setting a field in here throughout this relationship. So got it. The field will update on the other side. Demonstration. On record commits, and I want the 2051. Uh no, the 50. Right? Picture this. Missing docs, not missing docs. Ha, huh. what? Why? Because, and, and look this. Yeah, I watched the change. If I do this, 35. If I do this, 41. So from this layout, from this occurrence that related to that layout, I have a relationship to that record. When I am in this record, I have the relationship with the other record. And I'm setting a field on the other table. And that field in that table triggers all my auto entry calculation. Though I don't need a freaking trigger from that, that said, go to layout, set field, set field, set field. Set. No, I don't need all the, tr when I do this, all the triggers, all of them that are related, all, all the auto entry calculation, all the auto entry calculation that are related to that trigger are going to be evaluated. Just because from that table, I point to one record, because I have the record, is there, look, look, I have the record. I'm here, I am in that table, right? I'm in that table. I'm in a pilot document and I'm going to pilot and I want to know the name related to that pilot, okay? It's Kenneth, I am in from pilot with that relationship so I can access the trigger field and modified from that table, mm -hmm. so that modify my that will modify my my certificate, 
if I remove this and I commit, right? I commit my record, boom. I'm setting one field, one field, and boom, it will change missing doc. So now you say, yeah, but if I have two billion records, you know, and I want to update all the records of one, okay, perform squid on server, go select all the records, replace the trigger, and bomb. That's it. Right? Yep. You understand? So it's uh it's super easy to do with the trigger technique from an now is always valid, right? So now I can do something and we do that tomorrow. How we edit those things, you know, how we get to the point to put, you know, the, the documents and stuff like that, right? So, but you got the point. First, first, this certificate status, right? It's now much simpler than before, right? Much simpler, okay? Even though, uh, you know, we could have make more stuff, but I mean, it's, it's clean enough now, you know, or uh, to to be understandable, right? Even though uh, this is not necessary, uh, this like this, right? So here, pretty much, when you when we have only one statement, we don't need the bracket. Don't need, yeah, yeah. So uh, this looks better. So you have the case. This is how you do case. So this one like this, one like this, one like this one like this and this is the default and then you do this and you do this now you see what what happened you know when this this but you know it still look a little bit complicated right so let me now clean that up okay because and then we go okay so i want stuff here i want you know I want the, the 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 tag missing doc. So I want to show you sometime to do the right thing, right? Makes your life easier, you know. Okay. Okay. So this, you know, uh Okay. Our uh, certification, not certification. Okay. So now yes, there, there is a there is a certificate valid uh, field already. Yeah. So but we want to put it in. We the, can yeah. use it. Yeah, we can use it. But yeah. here, so now look how it looks. Yeah. Okay. So you don't have interference in your eyes when you do the logic this, this is easy you put on the table okay i have a okay uh we have free guests we have free guests at home okay free plates free forks free knife and free glasses do we have it yeah okay one two three that's it you put on the table but then you have to cook right yeah. and you don't want to okay so Tag missing doc. If if I have this, if missing, you know, if I is okay, I can even do this. Is is missing doc right? Is missing doc, missing doc. Is that certificate boom? Certification valid? No. Not certification valid? No. Well, it's it's you you read, and look how it looks now. Okay. Yeah. So this is, uh, if you put, most of the time, I resolve all my problems by presenting that way. I put everything, and I would have done even more than this, you know? I would have done everything, you know, uh, like this, or even this. This bothers me. 
not you know i don't want you know so it's uh it's the it's the way to present things that makes you the that gives you the answer of the problem right because this also what you can do is this okay because okay let, let's do the thing right and then we go i know i'm going to you know you know um uh, is you know uh um the certificate valid field is uh is just a number field as a boolean yeah, it's either it's one a, or yeah two. it's okay yeah but uh, yeah but i i'll tell you why i'm doing this okay 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 so now I have all my statements, all of them, and I can use this, and I can use this. You will say, what makes the difference? I will, I'll tell you. I copy this, okay? Uh, why, uh, one, two, three, four, yeah. oh. Yeah, right there. <laughs> okay, so. I copy my calc and I say, oh, my gosh, I can't get this freaking calc working. What's happened? Okay. Data viewer, watch plus. And you put the calc there. And you need to make, okay, the trigger I don't need because I don't need triggers. Uh, but here, you know, we need to add, you need to add the, the, the local. Yeah, like the, this, the table know, prefix. The, the table prefix, yeah. That's all. Okay. And here it will tell you which one is not found. Oh, okay. This one. Okay. okay. And you say, why is not freaking working? I'm crazy. I'm you know, I'm becoming crazy. Right. Okay. So you comment out this. Oops. You comment out this. And you say, okay, is this correct? Yeah, it's zero, you know? Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. is this correct? Yeah, it's zero. Okay, is this correct? Oh, okay, is certificate valid? He return one, right? Okay, so what you can do here, it's take piece by piece and analyze it. Right. Say which one is blocking me? Why I have the valid when I'm expecting non-valid? Why? Why? Right. You know, you sometimes you want to take the computer and boom by the twentieth floor, like I'm living here, right? So you do that and you say, oh, okay, this return one, you know, okay, that's why. So you can dissect piece by piece what this, this, this. If you have one calc like this, you cannot do it. Or you need to uh, you need to comment out this, you know. But it's but it's false. It gives right. you a false impression. It gives you a false result. It doesn't work. That technique works. That you have to, uh, you know, you you go there and you copy the statement and you put the statement there to see the result statement by statement, right? And then you can tweak it and go and fix the problem. So that's why you need to use the let statement like this, right? Yep. So I don't know if you have question, Marge, but we can keep them for tomorrow. It's 422. Yeah, we're going to wrap up. So yeah. thank you, everyone, for coming. We greatly appreciate it. Seriously, yeah. thanks for dropping by. So tomorrow. Da, 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 da. Thanks, Nick. Thank you. Good one.
Uh, got a report of an individual up here who uh, may be a FileMaker license. Uh, well, it's potentially expired. Look at the back of that car right there. Looks like the FileMaker license has expired. Sir, I need you to step out of the vehicle. Sir, sir, step out of the vehicle. Sir, 